The latest high-end CPUs from AMD are here, and they're certainly fast, but in this video we're going to intentionally limit their power to see how much performance you can get out of them using Eco Mode. We'll still show you the results from these chips running at stock settings, as well as some overclocking options if you're interested, but our main focus will be on the Eco Mode. Let's start with a quick explanation of what Eco Mode is. Introduced with the last generation of AMD processors, Eco Mode essentially works in the opposite way of PBO. The goal here is to restrict power consumption, which means the CPU runs lower speeds, cooler temperatures, and it also naturally reduces the performance, but not as much as you think. For example, the 9950X CPU at stock settings can easily reach 180 watts under full load, but with the 65 watts Eco Mode enabled, it maxes out around 90 watts, similar to the 65 watt TDP chips like 9600X and 9700X. To dive deeper into the setup, before we get into the benchmarks, let's have a look at this graph. At the top, you'll see the 9950X at stock settings, followed by 9700X with PBO and curve optimizer enabled. Arguably, one of the best ways to overclock the CPU for maximum performance. By the way, we have a dedicated video on how to do it. You can find the link in the description below. At the bottom of the graph, you'll find a few CPUs here. The 9700X at stock settings, along with the 9900X and 9950X running at Eco mode. Look in the frequency graph, here is a noticeable difference between the overclocked 8-core 9700X and the 16-core 9950X in Eco mode. On average, there is almost 2.1 GHz gap between the two, which is nearly half the speed. When we compare the temperatures, the difference is equally striking. The 9900X and 9950X CPUs hover around 55 degrees Celsius, while the overclocked 9700X is pinned at TJ Maxx of 95 degrees. Even as stock, this chip is around 8 degrees hotter. From this, it's clear that the higher core chips are significantly limited. They're running much slower, cooler, and consume about the same amount of power as an 8 core chip at stock settings. Keep this in mind as we move through the benchmarks, starting with V-Ray. This benchmark relies on maximum all-core performance, and we see that both Eco Mode chips fall in the middle of the pack, with the overclocked 9700X matching the performance of 9900X using Eco Mode. However, when comparing 9700X at stock with Expo enabled to 9900X with Expo and Eco Mode, there is a 21% performance gap. The difference jumps to 51% when compared to the 9950X in Eco Mode. If you compare 9950X at stock to its Eco Mode, you're leaving 44% of performance on the table. That is a significant margin. However, if you overclock 9950X, it increases the gap to 60%. But at that point, it's no longer a power efficient chip we're aiming for. Moving on to the next test, the Triple Blender Render. Here, both Eco chips are yet again in the middle of the pack with similar ratios as before. More cores in all core workload naturally lead to better performance. This is to be expected. To further illustrate this, let's have a look at this 7-zip multi-core score. The 9900X in Eco mode outperforms the overclocked 9700X by 16% in compression and 14% in decompression results. When we switch to the single core version of the same test, the performance gap between all scores narrows considerably, making the difference less significant. While heavily overclocked and optimized setups do perform better, the best results come from using PBO plus Curve Optimizer. The next test, the OCCT RAM test, presents an interesting scenario. There's a noticeable gap between the lower end 6 and 8 core chips and the higher end 12 and 16 core chips. In this case, Eco mode doesn't make much of an impact in comparison to the architectural differences. The gap is around 20% between the lower and the high end chips. Lastly, we ran a quick gaming test using Shadow of a Tomb Raider at 1080p with Radeon 6900 XT graphics card. At these settings, we observed that moving from 9900X at stock to an overclocked 9950X yielded about 12% increase in average FPS. However, the results remained consistent even with Eco mode enabled. This is because in many games, the CPU isn't running at 100% across all cores. Instead, only a few cores are being utilized, and even at full speed, they stay below 90 watt threshold that Eco Mode operates within, which makes it for an interesting conclusion. When I started working on this project, I was quite skeptical. Halving the power envelope on these CPUs seemed extreme, and I expected to see rather poor results. However, in many cases, we saw more than adequate performance, even at lower power consumption levels. 
While it might seem odd for an average consumer to buy a high-end CPU and run it in eco mode, there are scenarios where you might want to have a low power, low heat CPU that still delivers excellent single core or even multi-core performance. This also means a quieter cooler and if needed it can always be unlocked to go full ham. What do you guys think? Does anyone actually run their CPUs with eco mode enabled? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next one.